For this video, we'll be going into setting up the Datto RMM integration. Starting off, we're going to find our integration page section in the admin tab. And now let's find the Datto in our RMM section. Here we have the items that we need, and now let's pull those from Datto. Now logging into Datto, here we have our main page, but in order to find the info that we need, we're going to select Setup and Use. Now that we're within users, I'll be selecting my own username as I'm the one setting up this integration. Now that we are within here, we can select Regenerate API. Select OK. Now we have our API key, API secret key, and our API URL. Now be sure to save this info first or directly put this into your integration page at your secret key after we select Save and leave this page, your secret key will no longer be accessible. So we're gonna copy that info and place it into our RMM side of the integration. Now that we have this item copied over, I will hit save and close the screen. After saving everything on the data side, back in Hudu, we'll be saving our settings. Now that yeah, the integration has been created properly, we're going to be doing a test connection. Now that we have the connection successful, we can select OK and start our sync. Now, after our first sync, we will see that we have one unmatched company, so I'm going to select this section. Now, within here, we have all of our companies brought in from Datto, seen under the name and integration, which we have Tesco, and our match, which was suggested automatically for Tesco. Now, Hudu will automatically match companies with the same name. This is case sensitive. And if it doesn't, Hudu will auto generate a company to match it with the same name as the integration. You are able to change the match and assign it to another company if it's named differently within Hudu, or we can accept the match. Now, in cases where you have multiple companies coming in, we can do a bulk create slash match for all which will not only auto connect to your existing companies, but also generate new ones for the name and integrations. I'm gonna select accept match. Now we have the company matched. I'm gonna go back into my edit settings. From here, we have our primary sync location, which will be for our devices. Now, in this case, what I wanna do is have this connected to my desktops. Now we can also add a sort rule for each of our items. Now in this case, we have laptops, and so I'm going to pull that into my desktops as well. Now, these are being pulled from Datto on the left side. At the moment, we only have laptops. So that's all that's popping up for us. If you have other items, you might have different options selected here. But on the right side, this is what will be assigned to your asset layouts within Hudu. After I have that, I'm going to save my settings and perform another sync. After refreshing my new items being pulled in, we can now see that we have two desktops brought into the asset layout under my company name. Now, if you have multiple companies or different asset layout names, they will all be populated down below. If I want to check out what this looks like, I can select into my item here. And now we have in Datto our card that pulls all of the info for our device. If we want to remove this card for any reason or delete the entire asset, we do have the option to do so. If you ever need to troubleshoot or you're trying to find where your items are pulling in, it's always easy to just refresh your specific integration. And after a moment, the item should come in. You don't see anything immediately. Try refreshing this first and then the page, and then we'll see if these work. If you have any more questions, please reach out to us at our support. We are more than happy to assist you further there.